Yeah, good afternoon. Uh, I thought I'd show you something we came up with that's based on a video we did about a couple of weeks ago. That video, if you want to see it, is either in the description box below this video, or if you're on the web page, directly below the directly above the video uh, with the description. Uh, what you see here is a planter box, a hanging planter box that we decided was a pretty good idea from the other uh, angle planter boxes we did. It's based on the exact same dimensions. Uh, this is five quarter inch decking on, cut on a 15 degree angle with uh, four and three quarters inches from edge to edge at the bottom. The, uh, the sides are uh, five, uh, five, one by five uh, cedar fence rail. And the bottom will be the same thing with a cedar fence rail will be put in here. And it's not actually one by five. I think these things are a little bit less than three quarters. And sometimes you got to be real careful because these widths are not all created equal. When we put them together, we cut these to 36 inches long and then uh, with my uh, pneumatic nailer just use uh, use these staples at four spots on each end and on each side to uh, f fix them in there. Then we have the, uh, the screw eyes. These are one quarter inch by three and three quarter inch uh, 304 class stainless steel screw eyes and they're top and bottom so whatever you're going to do on each side so whatever you're going to do you got to multiply however many boxes you have by four and that'll give you what you need and on top of that we have um, some um, S hooks that we took and just put through it and took the pliers and crimped them down so they wouldn't come off and we use that to hang from some chain out in the back that's on the uh, hanging from our arbor. I'll take you out there in a little bit and show you that one. Now it occurred to me that you probably don't want to go out and buy a can of Dextane or uh, cedar fence stain to do one of these things. So I came across uh, this little deal here, Krylon wood stain, spray on stain. This is this color is redwood, and it works pretty good. For three boxes, it will take you two cans. And the cans are about six dollars and twenty nine cents a piece, which still makes it about half of what you would spend on a uh, a can of uh, cedar fence stain. Uh, as you can see here, it covers pretty nicely. Uh, you will need to have a paintbrush ready to at hand to, to smooth it out because you will get pools and it will start to run. Uh, and since it is cedar fence rail, you will have to uh, work it in there a little bit. Uh, other than that, it all works out great. Now, let me take you around back and show you the whole thing as it's completed. And here's the finished product. Uh, as you can see, we've hung it from our arbor out here, and you can see the 2x4 running across the 2x2 um, the, uh, two two lattice work that we put up. Uh, I was going to hang the, uh, the chain from the individual uh, bars up there, 2x2 two two bars, but I didn't think that the weight would uh, be too good for it over time as those 2x2's two two have a tendency to bend. So what we did is threw a 2x4 up there and then spread the weight across about 6 or 8 of those things and just screwed the uh, the chain holder into that 2x4 which we have stained the same color as the boxes. Now, you can see up here, you can zoom in off here, it's the same thing that we did with the boxes. The 1 quarter by 3 and 3 quarter inch um, eye hook stainless steel and then the chain can really be anything you want this is a uh, chain that probably won't be too good it's only zinc plated and runs down to the eye hook in the uh, 
the box. Same thing down here. They just add boom, boom, boom all the way down. Now what you want to do is decide how far you want the bottom box um, above your your surface. This one I put it a foot above the snow and summer down here in this box. And then just go up here, a foot between each one, and whatever's left over will be the distance you chain between the top and the bottom. This can actually be hung from anywhere that you have the space for it. The one problem you might get into if you're having to deal with any wind, if you live in a windy area, is you might want to down here come in and add some 1x4 uh, furring strips, and pound them down into the soil, and then attach them with one screw on each end uh, to keep it, give it some stability. Because if you live in areas that get thunderstorms and high winds, this thing will be whipping around like nobody's business. Here we don't have too much of a problem with that. We get maybe one thunderstorm a year, and it's really nothing. So there it is. The hanging piner boxes. Uh, give it a try. It's a real quick build and easy to do. Uh, oh, one other thing: when you put in the eye hooks, make sure you pre-drill the hole, or you will split out that five-quarter inch decking. Uh, other than that, easy to do. Thanks a lot. Let us know what you think. Talk to you later. Bye.